In UML, you can merge one package with another package. This relationship is more complex than it sounds, so let's take a little time to get clear on what merging packages involves. You can merge packages when you want to define an implicit generalization between elements in the source package and any elements in the target package that have the same name. So when you merge, source element definitions expand to include target definitions of elements that have the same name. Definitions of elements in the target package remain unchanged, and any elements in the source package whose names don't match up with an element in the target package also remain unchanged. We'll look at an example in just a minute to clarify what all that means, but let's look at our symbols first. When you merge packages, you have two packages, a source and a target. These can also be called the receiving package and the merged package. The source package is the one that receives information from the target package to expand its definitions. And we show this merge relationship using a dependency arrow labeled with the merge stereotype. Notice that the arrow points from the source to the target, from the receiving package to the merged package. Again, this indicates a kind of dependency. The source depends on the target to expand definitions of similar elements. So let's take a look at that example. Here we have two packages, one called teaching staff and one called faculty location. The teaching staff package has a couple of classes in it, faculty and job, and we see one or more faculty is employed in one job. The faculty class has various attributes and operations. The attributes include name and ID, and there's a get salary operation as well. And the job class lists a couple of attributes, title and department. Over here in this package, faculty location, we also have a faculty class that shares with this class an ID attribute, and it has a different operation. It has assigned to uh, for a campus location. We have a campus class and we have many faculty working at one campus. So if we were going to merge faculty location into teaching staff, teaching staff would be our source package, faculty location would be our target package. This is the receiving package that will have its definitions expanded by the merged package. So let's show that we're going to merge faculty location into teaching staff. Again, we have the dependency arrow pointing from the source to the target. And here's what the resulting package would look like. We have one faculty class now instead of two, but you can see how its definition has been expanded by the merge. We have name and ID and get salary as before, but we also have the assigned to operation. And we have the campus class that has been added, and the campus class has not changed, and neither has the job class. So you can see how the information from the faculty class and the target has expanded information about the faculty class in the source. And that essentially is what happens in a merge. Now there are a few rules about merging that it's worth noting, so let's take a look at those. When you're merging packages, private elements within the target package do not merge with the source package, with the receiving package. So if you have a class that has private visibility in the target, that class will not merge with the source package. It's also worth noting that UML allows multiple inheritance in package merges. Also, any sub-packages within the target package will be added to the receiving package in the merge. So if you have nested packages, if you have sub-packages that are in the target package but not in the source package, those will be added to the receiving package.
If, however, you have source and target packages that both have a subpackage of the same name, then you get a merge happening between those subpackages. So those will merge into each other as part of the bigger merge. So the question becomes, when is this, when is this helpful? When is merging useful? And one of the most useful ways to employ a package merge is when you've got existing architectures whose functionalities have the same elements that will be put together in a developing architecture. So when you're thinking about product progression, you can use merging 